Another mixed tip from CLA, here we are. Um, pick the plugins that your go-to plugins are and try to put them in your shortcut, mem your shortcut menu, okay? If you know in Pro Tools when you can pick a plugin, you can put plugins in your shortcut menu, okay? Um, so think about what are the top three plugins you use or top five plugins that you're gonna use in the mix, all right? Put them in your shortcut menu so when, when your mind is thinking about EQ or compression or limiting or whatever, what are the or reverb, what are the things you go to? Obviously, they're all Waves plugins, so it's really easy to put in the shortcuts menu. So put those in the shortcuts menu so you're not fishing every time you want to modify a sound. So let me ask you, what are a couple of the plugins that you've got in your shortcut menu? Well, there's all the CLA ones. Pretty logical. All right, funny. Okay. <laughs> to be honest with you, um, to be to, to be really honest with you, my uh, the the signature plugins. Okay, they'll be the effects plugin because I use that as a return. They'll be the 1176s because I use that for vocals. They'll be the L1 because I use that to f flatten out signal you know ratio. There's the H delay and the H reverb. So those are in my common ones. Okay, and then of course there's the SSL EQ. Now. I use that, so that's another mixed tip right there, is use the shortcut place to take the effort and put the plugins you use in that shortcut so when you open up to add a plugin, boom, it's right there. You don't have to fish through reverb or, or, or and that saves a lot of time. You know, um, it's really easy to populate all your tracks. If you're gonna use an SSL EQ from Waves, populate every track with it. It doesn't have to be in right away if you know you're gonna use it, okay? Skip the first spot. You have plugins or five, skip the first spot and always start your plugins at the second spot. Always leave it because you always end up moving them because you're always like, oh, I need to put an EQ before this or I need to put a trim plug in. Always leave the first spot open. Always leave a seat open in the car so everyone doesn't have to move every time. So if you put three plugins in a row and you're like, oh, I gotta put something first. You already have that spot always open. Never start with the first spot, leave that open and start with the second spot. Okay, populate, populate your song with all the plugins you think you may need, okay? And use that as part of your setup before you start pushing faders. This way, when you go, you can react quicker because your plugins are already there. Pre-populate, pre-populate the tracks with what you think you're gonna use. It's great because it sounds like you're almost turning your DAW into the way a mixing console. When you sit down, you know, at a real SSL, it's all there in front of you. You don't have to think about, wait, I got to put the EQ in the compressor and that. And that's kind of what you're saying. Set up your DAW so it's like a console. You don't have to use everything at once. Just what you love, put it in there. And that's great. Leave that top spot open so you don't, you know, cut yourself short. Exactly. It's, it's a lot easier to look at your session, look at what's in there, pre-populate it with everything, if you want to use, okay, vocal plugins on the vocals, if you want to use, create a channel strip for the drums, use drum plugins, pre-populate it with plugins you know that you think you might use. You can always get rid of them, but it's a lot harder during the course of mixing to keep adding and adding and adding. If you kind of pre-populate them with the ones you may use, if you have to change them out, it's great, but at least you can start with them there, and then as you're listening to a balance, you can pop them in on presets and go, this is working. Yeah, you don't have to cut your creativity in the middle. Now, exactly. qu quick bonus question, because you said something about putting SSL all over. If you were to do that, E-channel or G-channel? What do you go e -channel. for? E-channel. E-channel. There you have it.